Hey guys, it's Mary with Stamps and Lingers, and it is Saturday night at 7 o'clock. So let us do us a little video. Um, give me a second, I'm going to make sure that we're transmitting off to the left. You guys can't see my computer, but it's here. So I'm just going to refresh the screen and make sure that we've got transmission. My husband is watching a movie streaming on Netflix or something like that. So hopefully we've got enough internet for all of our all of our internet desires today. Hi Llewellyn. Hey Patricia. How are you tonight? Appreciate you joining me. Um, I hope the weather is good wherever you're at. We're looking at some clouds and got a thunderstorm watch going, but so far we haven't heard any any thunder or seen any rain. Hi Patricia from North Carolina. North Kakalaki. Hi Diane. Faith. Hello, thank you so much for my birthday card. I appreciate it. Hi, Amy. Hi, Robbie. Hi, Brooke. Hi, Wendy. Good evening, everybody. Hi, Karen. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. I mean, you know, it's been kind of a shock today, turning 30, um, but it happens to everybody, I suppose, at some at some point. Good morning, Wendy. Um, so I'll, I'll get over it, I'm quite certain. All right, so what we're going to do today, hi Mary, is we're gonna play with a new set called the Ride With Me Bundle. And it has this cute little stamp set with a truck image and all of the parts of the truck, way cheaper than you could get actual parts of actual trucks, I, I can assure you. Um, and it is designed to be either a fall kind of a theme or Christmas with a Christmas tree or a birthday with some balloons. And we're going to use it in its birthday persona today. So we're going to use this and the coordinating truck ride bundle. And when we get done with my card, um, we'll quick like a bunny put the 3D truck together, if that's of interest to you guys. So hopefully we'll get to that. Um, it's pretty simple, so we can walk you through. But this is the card we're going to make, and it uses both the uh, Ride With Me stamp set. Hey, Barbara. Well, Karen, I was 29 until today, and today I'm 30. I, I'm I'm willing to own that I am 30 years old. I, I'm proud of that. It's taken me 30 years to get here, and I've worked hard for it. So, so here I am, 30, you know, plus shipping and handling expedited overnight. All right, so um, you'll see that these images here are, of course, not with the Ride With Me set. This is actually from the Carrying Over Waterfront stamp set. And then I used a little bit of uh, Pressed Petal Specialty DSP for the remainder of the card. And then on the inside, I've got Happy Birthday and some balloons. And then um, balloons on the front of my card and the envelope flap. So let us go ahead and get started. And all of the card cuts are on my blog post for tomorrow. I've done a little bit of pre-stamping just because that makes life much simpler. So I've got some balloons. We're going to set that aside. I did use my Stamparatus to stamp the truck image just so that I could be sure that uh, I had a good solid image. I've done it in tuxedo black because I'm coloring with my blends. Thank you, Alicia. And Alicia, thank you so much for my birthday card and the fun little goodies from Ohio for... Uh, commemorating Neil Armstrong's walk. That was cool. My friend Alicia is a fellow demonstrator. We've met a couple of times at different events. And um, I have partaken of some of her wonderful Buckeyes. And she actually lives on Neil Armstrong Drive in Ohio, which I think is potentially one of the coolest addresses I've ever heard. Um, I would almost move to Ohio just to be able to live on Neil Armstrong Drive. I think that would be awesome. Cool. Hey, Holly. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm using the new um, Pretty Peacock blends. I've got both the light and the dark, and I'm just going to color this uh, truck. And here's my little tip to remember. When you use blends, you want to stay back away from your, um, your lines that you're trying to stay inside of, because it will bleed. You can actually almost sit and just watch it bleed into or out of where you wanted it. It's It works that efficiently. So I'm gonna to try to stay close. It's not quite so critical on the outside of this because I am gonna fussy cut this truck. Um, but it's a, good, it's a good habit to get into if you can. 
So I've got the light going and then I'm just going to add in some some dark in places where where I think dark might be. Who knows where dark might be, but that's a fender, so I'm pretty sure there'd be dark there. And then we'll blend it some more with another little hit of the light. I'm so excited that we have pretty peacock blends. That is just amaze balls. This is my favorite new color. I love pretty peacock. Yes, yes I do. All right, and we're just gonna blend and 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 blend. Well, we had a very fun day. Have I told you about Mort? Mort is a, well, he may have already departed the fix. I don't know. Mort is a little, I, we think he's a bullnose snake and he's been hanging kind of by the corner of the house. And it's very annoying for him because about the time he's basking in the sunshine, Finn comes bounding out in his usual beboppity way. And Finn is not very, mm, what's the word, subtle. And so, uh, just to be, f because it's kind of funny, Finn, I don't think, has ever even seen him. I don't think he's even aware that Mort is hanging out, out there. So Mort will be six, seven inches out um, sunning himself. And here comes Bumbleshoot. And he has to duck back under the house real quick. I know it's a boy because he can't make a decision. I think he wants to get across the driveway, but he can't make a decision and, and act on it. And that's kind of that's kind of what guys do. They're a little bit wishy-washy. They say women are, but they're wrong. It's men. Men are the ones that are wishy-washy. I just know this to be a true statement. All right. We'll get some good, good shading in there. This is a cool truck. The only thing wrong with this truck, I'm pretty certain, is that it doesn't have air conditioning because that's the era that I'm pretty certain this truck is. It's the non-air conditioning era. And to be quite frank, that's unacceptable these days. I always see these cool old cars and trucks and I think, man, that would be fun to have. And then I think, oh, really? Really, Mayor? Would it, though? Mm-hmm. You don't have... Oh, no, no, people. There's two kinds of snakes here. I have seen one poisonous snake, one, and I guess the actual term is venomous. I've seen only one in the, gosh, we moved here in 2003. I've seen one snake in that time that I would have considered a non-friend. All the rest of them eat the bad guys, and they eat the mice that the bad guys show up to get. So, so I have become much more, uh, let's be clear, I'm not going to go pet the snake. That, there's no such thing as a pet snake. That's just silly. But but I don't panic anymore when I see them. I do jump. It's not. It's no lie. The other day when I stepped out of the house, he was there and I jumped. It's true. I jumped. Can't help it because they lurk. You know, if they wouldn't lurk, then, um, then I think they would have a much better reputation. It's the lurking. That's their, that's their problem. So now I'm just taking some um, smoky slate in dark and light, and I'm going to um, color my tires. You could also use basic black if you wanted. I kind of like how the gray looks with this, uh, with the uh, pretty peacock. And you know, cars are nothing if not color coordinated, their tires to their paint. So. I decided on on Smoky Slate. You guys can do what suits you. And we'll do this one. And then we're going to do a quick fussy cut. Now you could also, if you wanted to for this card, you could cut the, um, the die cut shape that makes the 3D truck and cut it apart and use it. But it's a different shape and a different size, and I, I wanted this one. So so I resigned myself to the fussy cut, which just isn't that big deal. Now look here what I'm doing. Ruthann, are you in uh, Australia? If so, then I concur that everything there is attempting to kill you. So this is my light balmy blue blend and all I'm doing is I'm I'm gonna just really lightly and I mean like light as a feather make streaks across my windshield just barely touching it and 
just to kind of indicate that that's glass. See, once you put balmy blue on, it's quite obvious to anybody watching that that is glass. Now I'm gonna do a fussy cut here, and I'm gonna do a against right up against the line cut because I don't want that white to show. And once we get this done, things will move along pretty swiftly, I think. This won't take very long. It's a pretty easy fussy cut. Even, even good for Amy. Amy, 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 do you realize that in two weeks from today, we will be sitting in our hotel room in Rome. Oh, actually, you know what? It's seven hours later there. So what time is it now? Seven? So it'll be two in the morning. We'll be sleeping, waiting to get up to go to the ship. And we will be full as a tick on gelato and pasta. Oh, I can't wait. I'm very excited. To be honest, I kind of vacillate between being excited and terrified. I got to tell you, my overseas time has been very controlled. Um, there was always somewhere I had to be at a time I had to be there, and there were always other folks um, around, and we didn't go very many places. I mean, you know, we flew in, and then we went to base ops, and then we went to bed, and then we went to base ops, and then we went back to the airplane, and we left. There were very few times when we spent any time on the economy or out away from the base. So so that's going to be a new experience for me. And the places that we did go were mostly English speaking. I'm kind of hoping that Rome is, um, that a lot of folks speak English because otherwise I'm going to be in a toasty world. Igor speaks a little Italian, so that should help us out a little bit. Um, and I'm counting on Amy's husband, Lance, to keep us uh, corralled. That's the word I was looking for, to keep us corralled. All right. No, extreme Southern Illinois in the heart of the Shawnee National Forest. Lots of woods and snakes. So you probably got timber rattlers and maybe copperheads. Yeah. We've been really fortunate here. I mean, there are copperheads. Animals are bitten. We see that in the news pretty frequently. But um, like I said, we have seen one, one time. And he was as far away from our house and barn as he could get and still be on the property. Um, so I tend to not spend a whole lot of time anymore worrying about that. Okay, so there's my truck. And, you know, if you wanted to, you could keep playing with it. It looks a little different than my prototype, but, um, you know, it's it's pretty close. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to set this aside, and then we're going to get our art panel out here. Now, to make our little woodsy scene, they do understand and speak it. They just won't talk talk to me in it. Oh, well, that's interesting. Okay. Well, good. Well, hey, something to know. Faith, no, this is not my first cruise. We went last year to Alaska, which was most wonderful. Um, surprisingly enough, they almost all spoke English. Actually, the people who didn't speak English were the ones on the cruise ship, the staff, and they said washy-washy a lot. Um, so, you know, that, that's, that's what that is. Okay, and I'm going to use this stamp. We're gonna create a little bit of ground first. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stamp it across and kind of give it a double, a double hit. We're just trying to get the idea that there's ground there for the truck because, you know, otherwise it would be kind of weird, right? It would be like floating. And then, we are going to make some mountains, some mountains. And to do that, I'm just going to kind of make them as straight as I can because most mountains don't lean. And I'm just going to stamp it once or twice to get a little idea that they're in the distance. Let's do one more like that. Okay, and we'll set that aside. And then I'm gonna use shaded spruce. And I could have used the pretty peacock again, but I thought, you know, hey, spruce, it sounds like, you know, pine trees. So that's what I'm gonna use. 
and I'm going to stamp it a couple of times. I just love, this is one, this is the waterfront stamp set, and I just love, I really do just love this pine tree image. It's one of my favorites. And again, I'm just stamping it twice without re-inking a few times. Just to kind of push some of those into the background, and then we'll do a third one there like that. And I think that will be plenty. And I got ink all over me, because, you know, it's off-road. Yes, it's com literally off the road. Yes, the floating, the floating truck. That's a thing. I'm pretty certain that's a thing, right? Yeah, people have trucks that float. They get those big tires, and then they float. Ha, ha, ha. All right, now let's go ahead and mat this on some pretty peacock. All right, y'all. Go ahead and just tell me, what is your favorite new in color? I'm pretty certain that for me, it's Pretty Peacock, and you can probably tell that because like every card for the last week that I have done has had Pretty Peacock somewhere in it. I'm not saying there's any that I dislike because I really do like them all, but this is my very favorite of all. Okay, now while I've got my glue out, I'm going to take my uh, card front. This is a piece of... Press Petals DSP, Specialty DSP. Isn't that a pretty wood grain? And I'm going to um, mat it. Oh, I think I heard some thunder. Mat it on another piece of Pretty Peacock. Pretty Peacock and Rococo Rose. Yeah, Rococo Rose is beautiful too. We really, really kind of hit it out of the park with this, this in color set, I think. It's my favorite in a long time. You may have noticed I'm not a big, I'm not a huge bright color person. When I do a bright colors card, it's kind of, um, it's not the norm. It's the, it's the one off. Now I'm just going to also adhere the art panel that I just created to the card front with liquid glue. Get it as straight as my very calibrated eyeball can get it. There we go. Okay, now we're going to, I know you're surprised that I'm going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals Gasp. That is crazy. And I'm going to pop the truck on, but I'm also going to slide some balloons under. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put my dimensionals on without taken the backing off so that I can get an idea here in just a second where my um, balloons are going to go. So I'm just going to put these on. I know that the top of the truck is pretty much where they're going to be, so we're going to have them be just like that. So I did already cut, stamp and cut, two of the balloon images from Ride With Me. Now here's a little tip. You'll see that I have, even though I used white for my truck, I did that because I knew I was going to fussy cut close. Okay, so there's no border. You don't get a white border against a very vanilla background. When I made this, because you can see that the very vanilla is through there, I used very vanilla so that once I color my balloons, the border is going to blend in a little better. Now, if I was really good which I'm not, but if I was, I would have tried to figure out some way to stamp those uh, those trees on there, but come on, that's just crazy talk. Okay, so now I'm gonna color my balloons, and I've got four colors here. No, I, I have three colors, but now I'm getting the fourth color because I just forgot it. Okay, I'm gonna use the light and the dark, and I'm starting with the light, and let me show you, this is what I was talking about. What I'm gonna do is I'm just coloring the center of my balloon for now with the light, and then I'm going up to, but not all the way up to the edge of the balloon, okay? And you're gonna watch what it's gonna do because it's gonna fill in as we are watching it. It's, it, it works that well. So again, color the center with the light and then just push to just short of the line because it will fill in. It will seep to the to the line, I can assure you. Oh, there's some thunder. Okay, just straight up. And you know, in theory, people get, <laughs> get 
cable instead of dish or something like that because it's supposed to last in storms. But we all know that that's just propaganda and we don't know. So these are my pretty posy Stampin' Blends. I'm doing the same technique, center with the light and then up against, but not to the, the outer line. Okay. Like that. Wapakanita. Yes. Did I say that right? I think I did, but you never know. Okay. And then we'll do another one on this second group. I just thought this was kind of fun. I can see this old truck flying down a country road in Colorado somewhere with the balloons easing out the back. Okay. So I'm not going to get ahead of myself. It would be very tempting because I see some... I see some uncolored there, and ah, that's terrible. Okay, let's see. What other color did I use? Anyway, oh yeah, Bermuda Bermuda Bay. Come here. Come here, Bermuda. Boy, did I do a bad job pulling out my blends. I did do a presentation in Charlotte. Yes, ma'am, I did. I did the um, Sailing Home Suite. Okay, this is Bermuda Bay. The light, followed by the dark. You'll probably get tired of watching me do balloons by the time this is over because we got a few more to do. All right. I did. Were you there, Ruthann? In Charlotte? I've got a friend who's been doing some flying this last week or so. <laughs> He's a uh, been having the same kinds of issues getting around the south that I had um, <laughs> when I went from Baltimore to Charlotte. He spent two hours on the ground in Atlanta, n not at a gate um, because of weather. And then he said the ride from, from Charlotte to Jacksonville was not pleasant. The weather was tough. And then this again is my Bermuda, or I'm sorry, my pretty peacock blend. And I'm just kind of watching, and if by the time I get done it hasn't filled in, I'll go back and, and make sure that it gets colored in. But if you get too close, it's going to bleed over out, outside the line, I can assure you. I promise. And and that always bugs me when it does that. So, you know, that's just me. If that doesn't bug you, don't worry about it. Ah, did you have fun there, Ruthann? It was a, that was a good, I thought that was a good... Good conference. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Okay. So we're going to call that good. And then all I'm going to do here is do a little bit of a dry fit. And I'm going to put one balloon um, group. I'm going to adhere it with liquid glue. And the other one I'm going to do with dimensionals so that it looks like it's floating a little bit above the truck. Okay. So that looks good to me. I'm going to move those out the way and pick up my balloon and make my liquid glue come out. There we go. Okay. And we'll put some dimensionals on the back here. Okay, Kathy. Yeah, I can. I can imagine you are stuffed coming home from a Mexican restaurant. I hope it was fun with your friend. And I'm gonna cut a little piece of dimensional here to fit on that last balloon. And what I'm doing is I'm just putting the dimensionals under the balloons themselves, and I'll use a little bit of liquid glue for the for the strings. A little bit of liquid glue for the strings. All right, like that. And then pick up the strings. And okay, I think it's time to say goodbye to this glue. Okay. And then we're gonna pop our truck on 
and we'll do a sentiment and the front will be done. Really pretty easy. It's just, it takes a minute to color everything, but it, none of it's very difficult, right? It's a fun little set. I like it. Um, they have a cute video for it, a Stampin' Up! video um, that shows how to make the truck and talks about making the haystack. So there's the truck all, all ready to go. Now, I'm going to pull out my Stamparatus and I've got a little piece of the linen paper um, from Press Petals, okay? And I'm going to pull out my uh, uh, sentiment. And this is the one that said, today belongs to you, ride with the windows open. And you'd almost have to, because <laughs> yeah, no air conditioning. And I'm going to stamp it on here in Pretty Peacock. Where are you? Here we go. And I have my um, mat in here and my magnet. So I've laid the stamp down. I'm just going to pick it up. Just make sure your paper stays up in the corner where it belongs. Get up there, paper. Because I'm going to stamp it twice, and I don't want that paper. I need to know that that paper is where I had it. good image and that's good right there okay all right and then we'll pick this up and I'm using the um, timeless label to cut that out all right I'm holding my tongue just right right now there we go okay now, I'm gonna use some liquid glue. Hi, Donna. I'm gonna use some liquid glue to adhere this. And then I'm going to um, add some decorative washi tape. And this is the pressed petal specialty washi tape. I'm just gonna cut a little piece and stick it on at kind of a jaunty angle like that. And there is the card front. Cute, huh? Just going down the road. All right, now on the inside, very easy. We're going to um, stamp a sentiment. And I think we should use the one that says, uh, you know, happy birthday. Let's do that. Let me see where he is. Here he is. And I'm going to do him again in Pretty Peacock. Thanks, guys. And we're going to center that up. And then I'm going to put the balloons by him. And tuxedo. Where are you, balloons? Balloons! Oh, balloons! Where did you go, balloons? There you are. All right. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of um, time saving. I want my balloons on the front of my very vanilla envelope too. So I'm going to put them on at the same time as I put him on here. Now this, let that dry. Um, this is the, uh, my sample envelope is not my first one, it's the second one, and the reason is because I failed to follow my own rule, and I did not put an acetate in when I used my Stampin' Blends, and so I had Stampin' Blend bled through. So when I do Stampin' Blends on an envelope, I like to use my old Stampin' Majig acetate, and I'm just gonna stick that in there right now, but not that one, because I've already colored that one. I'm just going to stick it in right now so I don't forget. Um, Nance, I did that just because I liked how it looked. It was purely decorative. If you don't like it, then I wouldn't put it on, but I liked it. I thought it just added a little something, but maybe it's a little too big. Maybe I like it a little shorter. 
do be careful if you pull off washi tape because it it can be a little stickier than you think but I just I just like how it looked so I've got that stuck in there so that when I color this I don't get bleed through like I did before and then I'm gonna quick do my um, coloring again of my balloons uh, I sometimes will forget and do the wrong one first hey Jean Glad you could join with your sister, Marsha. Appreciate y'all coming on. Say hello to Donna for me. Maybe she's watching too. I don't know. Okay, and then we'll do a purple posy on our envelope. On our envelope. Again, with the light in the middle, the dark around the edge without going all the way to the edge. The purple posy lids are really close to each other, so it's a little bit hard to get them exactly correct. But I try. I try. And then pretty peacock. My nose is itching. I wonder if that means somebody's coming. That's what my grandmother always said, is that if your nose was itching, that meant somebody was coming to visit. I don't know who that would be. This would be a good day, though, because we're only one day out from the housekeeper here. <laughs> so for a mere moment, the house is sort of clean. All right. There we go. And we'll get this colored in. Okay. Almost there, guys. We'll do Daffodil Delight. Yeah, blends would blends that don't bleed would be good, but I think the whole the whole blending piece is is the issue, of course. I don't I think you I don't know how they would blend if they didn't move around. The the movement is what makes them blend. So it, it may that may not be that may be unobtainium but it would be cool. I think even Copics bleed. I'm not sure. I haven't used Copics in a, a ever. Well, I have used them, but it's been a long time. All right, let's see. One more color. Let's get some Bermuda Bay. I saw that, Faith. I got, I got cards that have... Um, that have envelope flaps decorated and insides decorated. And I'm glad to see that hashtag no naked envelope is a thing. It's making its way around the world. I do appreciate your card. It was very pretty, Faith. Everybody's card was so fun and so pretty. Truly happy mail. Been very fun. And I'm going to post, a, <laughs> my friend in Colorado sent me a handmade Stampin' Up card. She is not a Stampin' Up person. And you guys will get a kick out of it. That's funny. But she even made a recipe for it. So that was cool. All right. So we're going to let that go. Let me get this uh, done up here. Hey, Karen. Glad you could join us today. Thank you so much for the birthday wishes. Appreciate you. Hey ladies, I've got um, somebody who would like to be in my host club, and I'm kind of full, but if there's anybody else who wanted to join and didn't get in on the first round, if you'll let me know, I can open another club if I can get some more folks to join. So if you're interested in that, let me know speedy quick, because we're getting to the end of the month, and it's getting to be time... Um, to to get set up for July. So the way the host club works is it will run from July through December. So it'll be all annual catalog and the new holiday catalog, which will come out in September. And we'll get to play. And the way it works is you commit to purchasing $25 a month at least using a host code that is for one of the ladies in the club. 
At the beginning of each club, I randomly pick from the six folks. It takes six people and we go for six months and everybody gets a chance to be a host during that six months. And in that month that is yours, you are guaranteed a $150 show, which means you're guaranteed $15 in Stampin' Rewards which means that's free money. And typically folks get closer to 50 to $60 in Stampin' Rewards. Not always, results may vary, um, but it's usually pretty good. And a lot of ladies get a half price item um, and a lot of free goodies. So if you're at all interested in that, also you get double peppermints on all of your orders. So you don't have to wait for me to do a reward, uh, an ordering special. Um, you get free catalogs, and at the end of the club, you get first dibs at a spot in the next club, and you'll get a free $25 stamp set from me that you get to pick. So, lots of bennies. You'll save a little money. It's a great way to stash, to kind of stock up your toolbox. Um, so, take a look at your at how you've been spending, and if, if it makes sense to... Maybe do that. If you know you're going to spend anyway, you might as well be part of a club and, and get one month where you're the host and make some free Stampin' Rewards. All right, so there's our card. I just popped him on with Stampin' Dimensionals and then, of course, the inside. And on this one, I decided to use the uh, linen look. Hi, hey, Lenny. Thank you for joining. Uh, tuxedo black. Yes, it does. That's what I used. Tuxedo black. That is what I used. All right. So we're going to decorate our envelope flat, which is good because I got a smudge on it. I've had some folks ask me how to do this. Just as a reminder, you use a thin, la uh, thin line of the uh, liquid glue around the edge of the flap. And then you take your piece of DSP and you just line it up. And I I put it I put the top of the paper just a smidge below the crease. Um, and I do that because if you have a thick card, and most of my cards are relatively thick, if you have a thick card, that helps to keep the uh, the DSP from kind of popping up there. Okay, give it a good rub and a fussy cut, and we will be done. And then we'll see if I can put that truck together. Yeah, we got time. We got time. All right, and there we go. Oh, and it helps if you give everybody a little a free stamp and dimensional cover when you send your card. Everybody likes a, a stamp and dimensional cover. All right, and there we go. That is our card with the Ride With Me stamp set and bundled truck ride dies. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside and let's go ahead and make a truck, shall we? Okay. Now, the um, images to make the outlines for the truck are all part of the stamp set. You can see there's the uh, headlights and the grill and front bumper. You've got side windows and handles. Uh, these are fenders. And this is the um, windshield and then the back window. All right, so the first thing you do to make the truck is you cut one of these large dies out of your cardstock. And I, I'm not sure if you can see this, but it's got the crease lines are all embossed in the, in the die for all of the little flaps. And that's where we're gonna use our um, adhesive. And in this case, I'm gonna use liquid glue. Um, if I end up making a bunch of these and get more comfortable with the folds and the, the adhering, I might use tear and tape, but right now liquid glue is working for me. Can you see that it's embossed um, like the bed of the truck there? The, um, you know, the metal that does that. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. And then um, I also already stamped the fenders and cut them with their dies, okay? Like that. Um, it's also got a stamp for wheels, and you can cut those wheels out if you want. All right. And it's also got a front um, bumper that you could cut out to make a uh, three-dimensional. 
but that's all decoration. So we're just going to look at kind of putting it together. So I've cut this out. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, fold on all of my creases and give it a light rub. So you want to fold your tabs. These are adhesive tabs. Okay, and you're folding everything kind of the same way. Like that. Okay. And you don't want to get too carried away. I'm gonna, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and do a little stamping right quick. Do stamp before you put your truck together. Okay? Just saying. It's really, really hard to stamp a three-dimensional thing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp some doors. And you'll want to get on the right side of the door. So I'm just using Tuxedo Black, and I'm stamping the image. You can see the truck kind of start to build as you stamp it. All right, like that. And then here is the front. All righty. And we're going to put him right there in the middle okay and then I've got the uh, windshield on the other side and he goes right there like that not crooked if you can help it if you can't you can't it is what it is I mean it's a truck made out of paper hello all right and then the back window Okay, and then the wheels. I'm going to put the wheels on here, like so. See how all of a sudden it's starting to look like a truck? The truck is in the house! It's in the house! Okay, here we go. I don't know why I'm singing, sorry. I'll stop. It's because I know how much Amy enjoys a good musical, so I'm just trying to help her out. Okay, so I've got my wheels on. I'm going to cover up my ink pad. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness, yes. Ruthann, that would have been so perfect, wouldn't it? Oh my goodness. Well, you know, he's still probably enjoying having that truck, and so I think you'll be fine. Okay, so I'm going to continue folding, and I'm just folding my tabs and folding my truck bed. Like that. Okay, now these other little folds become a little, they, they go different directions, okay? So you can see we have the top, the windshield, the back window, the bed, and the hood, and the front. So they all have different folds. Okay, like that. And then, and it's probably hard to see the, the creases, but I promise they're there. And it all kind of makes sense. Um, there's a really, actually a couple of good pictures of this in the catalog. So once you get the, uh, what's cool about this is it's only one piece. You don't, you don't have to cut two and try to figure out how to adhere everything together, right? Like, um, like the gift box was last time. Um, but if you look at the at the samples in the catalog, you will see how to do it. Okay, so I'm going to start by adhering my getting the front of the truck built. So I'm going to use some liquid glue. You don't need a ton because it goes everywhere and it's also very strong. But you're just putting it on the tabs like that. And then you're going to um, stick the tab like that. Okay, and kind of hold it until it decides to stick. I haven't decided whether I think tear and tape would be easier or not. I think the liquid glue gives you a little bit of um, flexibility. 
Okay, so now we'll do the other side. And we'll let you adjust as needed. Okay. And then that's once that's all together like that, you can just give it a squeeze. And then the front of the truck is built. Like that. All right. Okay. Now, for the back of the truck, I'm going to put a little glue on that tab. Right there. That's going to going to hold down the back window. You always want your back window to be held down, right? It's very important for the back window to be held down. And then there it goes like that. Okay, and we'll just hold that for a second. So building these little 3D dudes is a study in holding it down for a second until the glue adheres. That would be the place that uh, tear and tape would be a little quicker, but it also is a little less um, forgiving. And yes, tiny clothespins would help hold it too. Yeah, I don't know, Faith. I probably couldn't figure this out. I was pretty lucky to, you know, even watching a YouTube video, I was pretty lucky to figure this out. All right, and then we're going to put a little more liquid glue on the tabs for the bed of the truck and the tailgate. Now this is a pretty inconvenient truck to get in and out of because the tailgate does not go down, unlike some of the newer vehicles do. And then this goes on the inside. Oh my lord, you guys, I was going to tell you, I watched a movie yesterday. It had Ryan Reynolds in it, so I was willing to call it an outstanding movie just because it had Ryan Reynolds in it. And I actually watched the entire thing against my better judgment because why? Because it had Ryan Reynolds in it. It's called Buried. Horrible, horrible movie. The entire movie. It must have cost a buck fifty to make it because the entire movie was him in a coffin, buried. In the coffin. I mean, an hour and a half of Ryan Reynolds in a coffin. At one point, there was a snake in the coffin with him. Now, regardless of my previous discussion about Mort the snake, if I was in a coffin with a snake, um, that would pretty much be the end of it. It would be over. It wouldn't matter what kind it was, poisonous, non-venomous. Yeah. It could be a cartoon snake, and I would be dead in that in that casket. Now, I'm, I'm going to tell you what. At that point, I did change the channel to let it go by, and so I don't really know if it turned out he was, like, hallucinating or what, but it was bad enough I was mm -mm, not doing it, not having it. But it was really quite horrible. Worst movie I've seen in a long, long time. All right, there is the truck, and now what I did is I took my little fender peoples. Yeah, that it's, yeah. Yeah, I have nightmares about snakes being in water with me. I don't know why, because I don't swim in places where there's snakes. Because, you know, snakes in water. I'm just not that good of a swimmer. But that's my nightmare, where I'm in the water with the snake. Not, not, not good. No. All right, so I've put a couple of dimensionals on my fender. And I'm just going to lay that over the top of my wheel. Like that, because this is a dually. All my trucks are duallys. So this one had to be a dually. I probably should have done a, done a double dimensional because it would be a dually. Yeah, it'd be a dually, not a dually. A dually. But, you know. Okay. And here's the other fender. And like I said, there's um, there are stamped images for the front uh, bumper. You can actually, you could cut out another bumper and put it over the top. That would be fun in foil, uh, you know, like silver foil, because that would look like a like a big old chrome bumper. Um, and then you could uh, decorate this however you want. You can also, as it turns out, you can cut out your die like this. Yeah, Robbie, don't even bother. Just it it'll make it will. Um, 
If you need a good Ryan Reynolds, the proposal, always the winner. Just skip buried. So what you can actually do is cut this out and then you can carefully cut the tabs so that you just have this shape and then you can uh, pop this onto something as well and you know stamp your images so you would just have a, a 2D rendering of the truck. All right, so there you go, folks. That is the Ride With Me bundle. I think it's really fun. Um, and boy, if you've got kids who are in those stages of, <laughs> of getting their driver's license and still thinking that's cool, they haven't figured out yet that really what you're gonna do is make them run errands for you, but that's not important right now. Um, if you've got kids in those throws, these would be, this would be a really fun little set to have. All right, um, let's see, next weekend is the last weekend before the cruise. So how about this? I'm going to say let's put next weekend on the in the maybe list. I'm not sure if I am uh, well ahead of the game, then we'll try to get together for, for a little get, get together on Saturday. And if I am running behind and my hair is on fire, uh, nobody wants to see that. So let's play it by ear. I will let you know as we get closer in. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend and appreciate you spending part of your Saturday with me, guys. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.